Hello, it's Esther Braithwaite from Esther Joy Knits. And today I'm going to be showing you how to turn this into this. In our last episode, I showed you how to take yarn from your knitting stash and turn it into a doll in a ball, pre-measured amounts of the yarn that we're gonna be using for our pattern. We learned how to make a hand wound ball and a center pull ball. But of course you can use yarn from your stash if you prefer. I'll be showing you how I knit my charity dolls flat on two needles. So you'll need a pair of needles and a pair of scissors. The yarn specified in the pattern, and of course the pattern that you're going to be knitting from. I'll be working from the Pretty Izzy Dolls pattern, but the process is the same for any of my charity dolls. And I'll leave a link in the show notes below where you can download the patterns. Let's get started. So you'll notice in the pattern that you can use any weight of yarn that you prefer that you have on hand. I'm going to be using a DK weight yarn and I usually knit this using three millimeter needles. You'll also notice that my patterns are written with instructions as well as with the knitting chart. I'm gonna be working from the chart today, it's a little bit easier on the video, to follow along with me. The first thing we're going to do is cast on, uh, starting at the bottom with the black for our shoes. You're gonna to wanna to use about an arm's length of yarn before starting your cast on. This gives us a lot of yarn at the end that we're gonna to use to seam up the doll. Make a slip knot and slide that onto one of your knitting needles. I like to use the long tail cast on method. So I wrap the yarn over my index finger and over my thumb. And then what I'm going to do is take the tip of my needle and slide it through the loop made by my thumb, pick up this working yarn over my finger and snug that up to make my first stitch. Through the loop, pick up the yarn and tighten it up. Through the loop, pick up the yarn and tighten. Pattern calls for 34 stitches when we're working on straight needles, that gives us two extra stitches, one on either end, that we're gonna use for seaming up the doll. So go ahead and cast on 34 stitches and join me back when you've finished. 33 and 34. And you can see we've got a nice long tail that we can use when we sew up our doll. Now, because we've used a long tail cast on, I count that as my first row of knitting. And I'm going to start with my second row of knitting, which is on the wrong side of my work. So I'll be purling across the second row. If you want to, you can pause the video here, purl your row, and then join me when you've finished. Okay, so that finishes row two, our wrong side purled row. We're going to turn the work and we're going to start row three, which is our color work row. So now we're on row three. Our chart tells us we need to knit 11 stitches before we begin the white. But remember we have that extra stitch because we're knitting flat. So we're going to knit 12 stitches in black. We're going to join our white for knitting these little socks peeking through our Mary Janes. And if you're working from the doll in the ball, you can just pull the tail out until you see the beginning of the white yarn. Since we've attached this with a very loose knot, you can just give a firm tug 
and the two yarns will come apart ready to pick up the white yarn for the socks. Join this the way you normally would. I like to put the tail of my yarn over my working yarn for that last stitch, that 12th stitch. And that kind of snugs it in the back there. And then I'm going to knit the stitches for my socks. I'm going to switch back to my black yarn for the signs of the shoes. And since this is such a small area, I haven't worried about twisting my yarn as I go. I'm just going to switch back to the white and knit another three stitches for my socks. If I were knitting on circular needles, I would carry this white along behind to pick up for the tops of my socks. But on straight needles, I prefer to cut that yarn and join it again after the next row of black. I'll finish knitting in black to the end of row three. And then I'll turn my work and purl across the last row of black. You can pause the video here and join me when you've purled row four. 33, 34, and that finishes our black. You can see we've got just enough yarn left in our pre-measured amount that we'll be able to finish off that tail. We're going to start on the white section for the top of the socks. So we're going to join our white yarn and we're going to make four, four rows in stockinette stitch. So knitting on the front side and purling on the back side. Go ahead and join your white yarn a tail to work that in later. And you can pause the video here and join me after you've worked four rows in stockinette using your white yarn. One, 32, 33, 34, and that brings us to the end of this white section for our socks. Now we're going to join our flesh color for the doll's legs. And just as we did before, we're gonna pull a little bit of that yarn forward till we see where we've joined. Give a little tug to separate. If you've got a bit of an extra tail here for the white, we're gonna work that in later when we finish up the doll. If you're finding that it gets in your way, you can go ahead and snip that to a usable length, but leave yourself enough that we're gonna be able to work the ends in when we finish up the doll. We're going to join our leg color. And this time we're going to work six rows in stockinette, knitting on the right side and purling on the wrong side. So you can go ahead and pause the video now and join me back here when you've knit your six rows of stockinette for the legs. So you can see our stripes are starting to come together. We've got our shoes, our socks, our legs, and we're ready to join for our bodice color. Just 
catch that yarn there behind. And from the pattern, you can tell we're now going to be knitting, working 16 rows in stockinette for the bodice of our dress. You can pause the video here. And join me again when you finish working 16 rows in stockinette. 31, 32, 33, 34. That brings us to the end of our longest stockinette st section for our bodice. And just like before, we can separate the tails of our yarn and join our next color this time for the face we're going to be making eight rows of stockinette stitch in our face color so again just joining the yarn as you normally would and proceeding to work eight rows in stockinette Knitting on the even side, purling on the wrong side to finish up the face. You can pause the video here and come back and rejoin me when you've worked your eight rows of stockinette. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. That brings us to the end of our face row. We can get ready to join our next color, our last color. By now you should have a rectangle of stockinette with your stripes. You'll notice that it's curling a bit on the edges and on the bottom. We don't need to worry about that. When we seam it and stuff it, that's going to take care of the shaping. Go ahead and join your hair color for your last section of the doll. And you'll notice on the pattern that we've got four rows that we're going to knit even before we begin shaping the top of the head. So go ahead and work four rows in stockinette for the doll's bangs, and then come back and join me, and I'll show you how to do the shaping to finish off the doll's head. So after you've finished your four rows in stockinette for the bangs, then we're going to work the decrease rows, and this is going to shape the top of the doll's head. Remember, if you're working from the chart, that you want to add a stitch on each side to account for the seam allowance when we sew it up. So we're going to start by knitting two stitches, our edge stitches, before we begin the decreases. And the first decrease is four stitches and then a knit two together. So I'm going to knit one, two, three, four, and then I'm going to knit the next two stitches together. One, two, three, four, and then knit the next two stitches together. And you're going to continue this right across the row. Four, and knit the next two stitches together. Knit two together. One, two, 
three, four, knit two together. And that leaves us with two stitches. We're going to knit one, knit two, and that finishes our first decrease row. We're gonna turn the work and we're gonna continue knitting purlwise all the way across on the wrong side of our work. So you can purl to the end of the row and then join me for the next set of decreases. So turn the work. And again, we're going to knit two for our edge stitches. This set of decreases has three knit stitches in between our knit two togethers. So we're going to knit one, two, three, and then knit two together. One, two, three, and knit two together. And we're just going to continue that all the way across the row. Three, knit two together. And as before, when we get to the end, we've got two stitches. We're going to knit those two stitches, turn our work, and purl all the way across the wrong side of our work. So we turn the work, knit our two edge stitches. This time we have two stitches in between our decreases. So knit two, knit two together. Knit two, knit two together. and knit the last two stitches. One, two. Turn your work and purl across the wrong side. Turn your work, knit your two edge stitches, Knit one stitch, knit the next two stitches together. Knit one, knit two together. And we're gonna continue that all the way to the end of the row. And then knit the last two stitches. We're going to turn our work and purl across this last row. This is our last decrease row. We're going to knit our two edge stitches and then we're going to knit two together all the way across. And again, when we get to our last two stitches, we knit them, knit one, knit two, and that finishes off the top of our doll. You can separate your yarn and you're going to want to use a darning needle or a yarn needle to thread the working yarn through the live stitches on your needle. So you can thread the end of your yarn onto a darning needle And then you're going to slip your needle right through the live stitches at the top of your doll. Pull that tight. 
for the top of the doll's head. And I like to work a knot here just to hold the stitches in place. And pull that tight. So now your doll is starting to take shape. You can see that we've got all the colors in place for the shoes, socks, legs, bodice, face, and hair. And if you join me in the next video, I'll show you how to pick up the stitches around the doll's waist and work the skirt. Thanks for joining me. Happy knitting.